What's up guys, Pippercut22 here and I'm back with another video for you guys. I am quite slow, slow, blah, 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 slow blah, blah. what the hell did I just say? Anyways, I am quite slow when it comes to these videos because I do work a lot and I only get around to these videos on weekends. Well, semi sort of weekends. <laughs> but anyways guys, in this episode I'm going to show you guys how to finish Conan Exiles. Now by finish I mean you take your bracelet off, your person goes away to wherever... It's no longer bound by the green wall and no longer bound by the bracelet. So in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So stay tuned for this one, guys. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys, we are back. So first things first, you need to come to this altar, the altar of Chaos Mouth. Now, Chaos Mouth is quite centered on the map. Um, it's in this area right over here. Right over here on this and in this altar, you need to place a few items that you will get by bosses and stuff around the world. And when you craft it enough, or do, if you've got all the ingredients and you craft something, you're going to craft what is called the keystone. Now, the keystone is required for you to remove the bracelet without it killing you and for you to be able to go through the green wall. Because we all know if you've got the bracelet on, you die when you go through that. So, I spawned in stuff. I am in admin, so I spawned in a few things. Oops. So I can show you guys what it is that we're going to require. So the first thing that we're going to require is Star of the Champion. This is required by the Bone Dragon. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to do it and everything. Uh, the, sh uh, the Shining Trapper... Trapper... Anyways, that thing. And then the Heart of the Sands. Now the Heart of the Sands is crafted through three items that you're going to get. The Broken Scourge Stone piece. The shattered skeleton piece and then the jagged. Dude, my, I'm struggling here. Yes, I'm struggling. Anyways, and then tiers of two races, which you get at the uh, uh, the Black Keep. Um, and then Mask of the Witch Queen, which you get by the Witch Queen. And then Diadem of the Giant Kings. That is the dude there where you need the demon blood to open the door. It's completely west, next to the Sumerian camp. Uh, what is that place called? I'm going to show you, I'm not going to show you because I haven't discovered it yet on this, but I love it. Anyways, okay, so that's the pieces that we require. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop these. And I think what we need to start with is the Heart of the Sands. Because uh, that is a three-parter. And uh, like I said, I am in admin at the moment, so I won't struggle that much to do it. But yeah, let's, let's do the first one, which is the Heart of the Sands. Um, you know what, maybe I should keep this just for reference. Then I can tell you guys exactly what we're going to do. Okay, 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 okay. So, out of the sands, first things first. So, let me quickly jump to where you need to go, and then we'll get into it. Okay, guys, we are back. So, we're going to go get one of the pieces of rocks that we require to make the scourge stone. So... The first area that you need to go to is in the south, in this area. And we're going to go defeat the the um, giant crocodile. Yeah. Um, so you run in here. Also a good place to farm brimstone. Um, let's run in here. There are a few enemies about, a few crocs. Okay, what happened now? Oops, that was a... That was a mighty fun list right there. Okay, 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 chill. Okay, so once we've killed all of those, let's continue running down here. Where is that dude? Uh, there he is. So you want to bring a pick with you as well. So you can farm him. Okay, cool. So now you start farming him and jagged. So we got the jagged piece. Okay, I'm not gonna farm him completely. Let's drop all of these on this nonsense. Okay, as you can see, we got the jagged scourge stone piece. So that's where you get the jagged piece. Now let's move on to the next piece that you're going to require. Alrighty then, guys, we are back. So. I think it's called Buccaneer Bay, or I'm not 100% sure what it's called. Uh, yeah, Buccaneer Bay. So in, at Buccaneer Bay, you come here, and then you don't have to fight anyone except for the last person that has the other piece on them. So let's quickly run to that guy. I'm not going to 
stop to fight anyone except for the guy that has the stone because we don't want to waste any time so let's quickly run to that I'm also going to include timestamps so you guys can if you already have some of these pieces you can just click click do, 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 do. okay I got this I got this I don't have this oh paper cut you so awesome thanks man okay uh, let, let's oh shit Oops. no leave me alone I don't want to fight you I don't want to fight you either I just here to kill your captain anyways okay let's run up there up there and then run here and then run there and then run here and there and everywhere Okay, I think this is the highest point of the ship, the area, so the ship construction area. So let's go. According to what I read in the stones, that ship fell over because there was a massive storm here. But anyways, I could be mistaking, but that's how I understood it. Okay, so you get up here, and then not that dude, not that girl. Okay, I just killed him. Okay, there we go. Ecker the wave runner. He sounds like a surfer dude. You kill him. And then let's see what he has on him. He has the shattered scout stone pieces. So that's where you get that. Alrighty guys, we're back. So let's quickly see on the map. Once we go into the map. Um, me jumping around like this is taking time for the game to load anyways. Um, you go to this area right here. Now this goes from the swamp area to the north. Um, but let's quickly, let's quickly run in here. And then I'll show you where you can get the other piece. Now, if you not obviously, if you're playing on a normal server, you're not going to have admin and all of that. Um, I do recommend bringing a bow with uh, snake arrows because the poison damage it helps quite a lot. Uh, I'm just going to jump down here because um, yeah, I can't die. And I actually fell on a spider. Anyways, let's uh, quickly run to here. Now, here's uh, what we used to call a locust queen is over here now that is the creature that you need to kill in order for you to get the the other piece so let's quickly kill her off you see she's quite powerful i only struck with even with my settings on on um this that is i think it's times five damage that i do um you see there it took me quite a few shots in order to kill it broken scourge stone piece so that is what we got let me just kill these spiders off so I can show you guys. Alright. Let me let me show you guys what we got now. We've got the broken scourge stone piece. Let me just drop all of this nonsense because I don't need it. Okay, let me quickly go and I'm going to show you guys now where to craft the heart of the sands, the scourge stone. Okay, back now guys. Okay then, we're back guys. So the area that you need to go to is this area right here on the map. And this is called, uh, not player, it's not called player. Let me just move out of the way. So I can show you guys what it's actually called. Uh, sand swept ruins. That is where you need to go. You can actually go here before you bring the pieces to him. Because he's actually, he actually tells you, you need to bring him some pieces and what, 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 what. In a weird way, he tells you that. And then um, you can, uh, actually he's going to, he's going to assemble the scourge stone for you. Or as known as the heart of the sands. He's going to assemble it for you. And then you have it. So let me quickly run to him. Now I do recommend coming to him and talking to him. Because it's, it's fun knowing these things. But anyways. There you can go purchase a uh, heart of the sands. That is now all the uh, pieces that you require. You mad fool. Uh, I can actually what purchase two. Okay I'm just going to run away because I don't want to hear him speak. Um, anyways that is where you craft what is called the heart of the sandstone all right guys we are back so the witch queen i think i have shown this in another video but let's just let's just do this anyways um right over here on the map in the swamp area where all these ruins are uh, you need to come here so let's quickly run in i'm gonna kill her very quickly um because i uh, yeah <clears throat> If you guys want to see a detailed episode of me fighting her, I don't know if I've got one, but I think there is one. Anyways, continuing on. I really need to get myself uh, like a Canon camera. Nice like that M10 thing which they use for vlogs, mirrorless. That thing would work so nice in these things. Anyways, someone continuing on. Yes, yeah, someone has come. Approach. Approach. Cockroach, cockroach. I'm doing it. Yeah. 
Okay, come. The bracelet you wear mocks you, my enemy. Well, I couldn't help, could I? Don't be an idiot. Dagon will protect me. Dagon some more. Okay guys, we are back, so now let's quickly fight her. Anyways, then you just check her body, you can take the key and you can take that. Uh, I actually have got uh, the Witch Queen, I've got a cool episode on that, I'm gonna link that and you guys can check that out. Um, okay, so cool, we've got the Mask of the Witch Queen. Now we need to jump to the next thing, which is, uh, let's go to the Bone Dragon to get the Star of the Champion. So we're heading there now. Alrighty, we are back. Where's the Bone Dragon? Oh, there he is. Okay, guys, we are back. So where you need to go to is what is called the Sinkhole. And that is, let me show you on the map. It's this area right over here. And you actually need to kill this guy to get that uh, Star of the Champion. You, as you can see, let me show you if I can look at him a bit. Wait, let me run away. Do you see his eyes? That's actually the Star of the Champion. Anyways, uh, let's quickly kill him off. And then I c we can loot him. So this is the other piece that you're going to get. Um, also, you guys need to actually maybe uh, tell me. What other games would you guys like? I'm actually busy with the Assassin's Creed range. I haven't posted anything, but I have filmed. I want to post a couple of episodes at one time, and then you guys can follow that. Um, for the Assassin's Creed fans, just reliving the missions and stuff like that. Also, I don't really bother in that game to like show you guys all of the uh, vantage points and all of that. Because, I mean, it's quite repetitive and boring to show that in every video. Anyways, okay, let's form him. I'm just going to hit him once because we just want one star of the champion, although we've already got three. Um, I'm going to drop all of this, which is nice. If if you actually um, do him before you go and do uh, the giant king, this guy, then you actually have the demon blood required to open that door because you're going to need uh, demon blood to open it. Okay, guys, we are back, and it is in this area right here that you need to go to get the tiers of two races now i did a complete video on where to go where to find the key where to do this where to do that so basically with this one i'm just gonna fast forward everything until i get to telleth and i don't think his name is actually telleth his wife is or i don't know it's very confucius anyways i'm gonna forward this part and then i'll catch you guys now okay guys we are back let's quickly defeat this guy I wonder if his name shows above him. Actually, it does not. But anyways, let's quickly defeat him. And then we can get into it. Uh, getting the tiers of two races because it's by him that you get it. And you're actually going to need to farm him to get it. And there we go. And also, Heart of the uh King's Courage. Not the whatever I said. Um, okay, so cool. We've got that. Let's quickly see. We've got the hot tiers of two races. Now you're gonna see two, three, two, two. Don't worry about that. You just require one of each item. Anyways, um, moving on uh, to we've got that. We've got that. 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 Let's go to the giant kings next. <coughs> Alrighty then, guys. We are back. Uh, this area right here is where you need to be and uh, let's quickly run in remember to bring some demon blood I think I've got a video on um, How to get the Kingslayer polar arm which you learn here and also the most demon blood in one drop except for the bone dragon Which is in here. Please bring a torch because I can't see anything And yeah, there we go. So this oak you need to defeat to get that crown thingy of him But he's not that tough at all. He's actually quite Weak in comparison to the other creatures that you do face. Um, you see, he's called the Burrow King. So, defeat the Burrow King and where did his body go? I can't see anything. There we go. So, just form him. And then you get the crown 
called Diadem of Giant Kings. Okay, so last final piece that we require is the sh uh, blah, 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 that thing. So let's quickly get there. So if you do follow my channel, then this area actually would look quite familiar because um, I have done this before. If you're not 100% sure as to how I'm running and why I'm running this way, you can always check out the old video because that's a lot. I gave him more. Okay, you go left, or you go right, and you go up, down, <laughs> anywhere around. Anyways, um, let's continue to being normal for a second. Uh, you run down here. And now, I don't know what to say to you guys now, but uh, yo, this is a lack of. Eh? Anyways, running on, running on. There's actually a few benches and stuff here, so I can show you guys that you can actually craft it. Well, you know what? I think on this account I already... Yeah, you see on this account I already learned it, but I'm going to show you guys anyways how to craft the, the composite obsidian. Um, or how to do the entire thing, you know, because uh, I like you guys like that and I'm willing to show you guys it. Okay, just go past uh, that flicker tongue thing. All right, so you come in here and then you go down there. This guy is so annoying, talking like that all the time. Anyways, run down here. Then you go left. You can actually ignore most of these enemies, actually all of them, you can just ignore because they're not going to do anything. Unless you want to explore and check what they have and take steel bar from them. Because they do, a lot of them do carry steel bar. So what I'm Is he done speaking? Jeez, that is so annoying. I know once you get to the serpent sorcerer or whatever he's called, you also start speaking and it's quite annoying. I mean like really I'm gonna do these weird things and I'm gonna end up as a meme somewhere, some anyways. Uh going here going down here and then this guy right over here, you need to kill him in order for those doors to open. He's, he's like, I think once you kill him, he releases like this fart that opens that door. Fusro fart. Um, <laughs> anyways. Continuing down. Or on. Running. With super stamina. Because I'm a boss like that. Anyways. Uh, we're going to go down here. And then down here. And all over here. Uh, I actually... I've done this in a video. I could probably have just shown you guys how to get the composite obsidian. But where's the fun in that? Let me show you some way to learn the obsidian gear. Oh, whew, I almost fell down there. Uh, the, yeah. In this area, that double jump thing of the stamina really helps you a lot. Because, I mean, you can double jump over stuff like that. And you can double jump like that and then do that. So you don't break your ankles. Just take absorb that impact into a roly-poly. That's not called a roly poly.
All right, he's done speaking. So after he's done speaking, uh, I can speak. But anyways, you just defeat all of these ghosts of him. They are, uh, it's not just because I'm strong in this mode that I created. Uh, he is just, oh, the ghosts are weak. They're not that strong. So you don't need to worry about that. You'll be able to do this alone. But as things goes, every go, everything is always fun with a couple of friends. Um, I think that would be the last wave of them. Or not, I'm mistaken. Okay, then he drops his force field and then you can kill him, which he is glitching in the air. But anyways, we got him. Destroy whatever dwells in the heart of the volcano. Okay, you can just press E on him and then you get that shining whatever, I can't pronounce it thing. Alright guys, we're back. We've done everything we have got. The shining whatever that is. We've got the star of the champion. We've got heart of the sands. We've got the tears of two races we've got diadem of the giant kings and we've got the mask and we did all the videos on that so let's do the ending this is it guys this is this is where everything happens so there we go and then as we place the last item you'll see it'll craft there we go the keystone the thing that we want to get out of this hell hole which we've magnificently built ourselves up so it's no longer a hellhole but it's a hellhole indeed it is so let's use it and see what happens this is it this is the end of conan exiles then you finish the game remove your bracelet and escape from the exiled lands please note that doing so will permanently delete your character and restart the game Yes, not really the leak. They've said this quite. They should have said your character is going to escape and he's going to go to New York and make it big and whatever. Um, so let's just say yes and see what happens. And there she goes. She's just walking away. I'm done with this place. I'm done. I'm going. To your New York, start a new life. Get out of this hellhole. Cheers. For the years. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. And that right there is the most boring end to a game that you can probably get. Anyways. Um, continuing on the hell was that continuing on that is it guys you finished the game congratulations you can say you finished going in exiles so next thing that we're waiting for pet taming or getting pets and apparently i saw on fire sparks channel that there is going to be um sorcery coming after that and then obviously you guys want uh them to fix the bugs as well, including myself. But anyways, guys, I um, hope this episode was helpful. hope you enjoyed the ending to Conan Exiles, which I semi-sort of did just for the fact that I completed the game, but not really what they showed after. Anyways, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all those things, trying to hit 500 subscribers. It's coming quite quickly. And thanks so much for the support, guys. Appreciate it a lot. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.